A royal thrashing. Manchester City beat Watford 6-0 in the FA Cup final as Prince William watches on after he and Kate miss Lady Gabriella Windsor's royal wedding. Prince William was at Wembley this afternoon to watch Manchester City thump Watford 6-0 in the Crunch FA Cup final and clinch the domestic treble in spectacular style. The Duke of Cambridge was cheered by the 85,000-strong crowd as he walked onto the pitch to shake hands with the teams and match officials shortly after speaking to BBC Sports presenter Dan Walker in the tunnel. But William's appearance at the match came at the expense of attending Lady Gabriella Windsor's royal wedding to Thomas Kingston, which saw the Queen, Prince Philip and Prince Harry among the guests. Before the game William who is an Aston Villa fan and will cheer his team on in the championship playoffs, said, I'm incredibly excited and I think next week is going to be a nervy affair for me but I can enjoy today and relax and may the best team win. But I think Man City have been a bit of a juggernaut this season and have been playing seriously well so I hope Watford have got their big boy shorts on today. A hat-trick from Raheem Sterling and goals from David Silva. Gabriel Jesus and Kevin De Bruyne dashed Watford's dreams of raising their first major piece of silverware in the club's history. Manchester City's David Silva opened the scoring in the 26th minute after his shot deflected off Kiko Femina and hurtled into the net. Andrahim Sterling added a second to City's tally when he smashed in an attempt from Gabriel Jesus into an open goal, leaving Watford with a mountain to climb in the second half if they hoped to claw their way back into the game. But their dreams were crushed when City opened up their lead even further in the 61st minute when Belgian international Kevin de Bruyne slotted in the team's third goal. And a fourth goal by Gabriel Jesus sent City romping towards a domestic treble after winning both the Carabao Cup and Premier League titles this season. Sterling scored his second goal of the game when he tapped in a low cross whipped in by Bernardo Silva before claiming his hat-trick shortly after. Watford who came into this game off the back of consecutive defeats to West Ham and Chelsea, were looking to clinch their first major piece in their long history. An FA Cup win would also have secured them a place in the Europa League next year after their 11th place finish in the league this season failed to book them a spot in the competition. Williams' presence at the Cup final clash came as members of the royal family and other high society guests celebrated the wedding of the 52nd in line to the throne. Lady Gabriella Windsor. The Queen was joined by Prince Philip as the Duke of Edinburgh made a rare public appearance at the Windsor wedding two years after his retirement. Other royals at the chapel today included Sarah, Duchess of York with her ex-husband Prince Andrew and their daughter Princess Beatrice with her boyfriend Eduardo Marpelli Mazzi. Lady Gabriella and her Mr Kingston kissed on the steps of St George's following the ceremony. The newlywed couple were all smiles as they left, closely followed by the bridal party and members of their immediate family. Posing for photos on the steps of the chapel, the couple lovingly gazed at each other before getting into a claret-colored vintage wedding car. Lady Gabriella was helped into it by the bridal party due to her long train and veil.